Um, Dan, who are you holding? Uh, this is Roisin, and she's an orphan badger cub that came into the Kildur Animal Foundation. Gorgeous. And how old is she? Uh, she's nine weeks old now. Nine weeks old. How did you find her? Where did you find her? Um, a member of the public was walking her dog um, a couple of weeks ago by a canal and found her. Um, she was cold and in shock and, yeah. and had clearly been orphaned. So she picked her up and brought her home and gave us a call. Okay, good. And and Roshin, is she is she being fed like a little baby, or are you? Are you yeah, giving... she's being uh, bottle fed at the moment. Yeah. yeah. By you? By me, yeah. Do you have kids? I do indeed. Yeah. Okay, so you're well used to it. Sure. Do you sometimes get confused as to which thing you're picking up? It's it's hard going, yeah. Irish, yeah. It's the hairy one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but uh, be, but beautiful and 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 not wild feral. No, no, not at all. Um, we will um, stop, you know, con um, holding her and that yeah. after another few weeks and then get her wild again so she can go back to the wild. And let her go back to where... Why, do I th why am I thinking TB with badgers? Is that a misconception? Um, there's not scientifically proven at the moment. Yeah. Yeah, so a lot of the badgers, 85% of the badgers don't actually have TB, so... 5% don't 85. have... Oh, that's okay. 85. I thought the figures were looking yeah. a bit funny no, there. <laughs> that's right. Breed, welcome. Thank you. And you're here with um, your Brie Gallagher. You've got a little friend called Twiglet, which I yeah. think is the most beautiful name for this little cub. Uh, describe, tell me a little about this. It's a fox cub. Yes. Uh, found where? Found in Black Rock. In New Dublin? Tar yes, yeah. just off Carysford Avenue. Found where and how? Um, outside, a guy has a tyre garage there and just shrubbery outside. Yes. And underneath the shrubbery, what he thought was a little puppy. And um, when he discovered it wasn't, gave us a ring. So I went in and collected her. Now, when you came in a little earlier on, you had a little, what's it called? A, a carrier. A carrier. And we thought we were expecting Roisin, the badger. Mm. And out comes both Roisin and Twiglet together. I thought they would have eaten each other. No, so they're good friends. They're friends. Yeah, and had to, they've become friends since they were found at the same time and everything. Yeah, just this week, actually, they've been introduced together. Uh, sometimes they live side by side in the wild. In the so, wild. Oh, yeah. well, that's my yeah. ignorance. They're shining. And, and, but that makes sense, then, that they would be OK they're together. They're OK together. And will, will Twiglet, then, I presume they're genetically hardwired to be wild. Wild, yeah. So he'll, you'll have to let him head into the sunset at some yeah, stage. Yeah, usually in September time, when they naturally disperse, okay. we let them back into the wild. OK, will it be hard for you both to say goodbye to these creatures? It is, but it's great to see them go off yeah, to yeah. where they should be. That's are they the they cutest things you ever saw? You, you should film them together and have like a reality TV show and <laughs> make, a, make a movie or something while you have them. Now, on to the big guns. Here we have uh, the birds, the place full of birds tonight. Uh, Trevor Roach, you, what, who's that with you on your arm? This is Trudy, my female peregrine falcon. Yeah. And she's four years of age. Yes. And, and is she's... Trudy into the headgear now, or is oh, that... Oh! She... Well, you can see she's one for the races. I can see that. And Absolutely. She's like the Lady Gaga of the avian world. She is, and she's a speed ace, so it... that's a helmet to keep her safe. How fast can that bird fly? In a parallel stoop, straight down 90 degree angle, over 200 miles an hour. That is amazing. So she's a two pound bomb. Really? Heading air pound. And anything gets in her way. What does she eat? She eats feathered friends, unfortunately. Great, there's uh, a few fascinators in the audience. We could let us unleash, unleash her. No, there it is. Yeah. Feathered friends, she eats she's friend of, yeah, she's, she's friend of our crows, our duck. Yeah. Your pheasants is a, is, a, is a big one, So you she's know? having a posh night, she'll go for a duck or she pheasant. Will, or... And if she's having a night in, take away crow. Take away, yeah, with a bit yeah. of spice on the top. Bit of that, bit of sauce on the side. That's it. Brilliant. And who's this? This is Noddy. Yeah. He's my social <coughs> reared barn owl. Which is native to this country. But when you say social, he'll go for a pint with you? or he... Well, he, he, he go for a pint, thanks to my daughter, Chloe. Yeah. Um, she helped rear him from two weeks old to four weeks old with myself. So when I wasn't there, she was taking control. And then, as you can see, he's very fond of little girls. I was always told that... Or not, I, was, I was led to believe that an owl makes the hoo-hoo thing. No. But, but when he was talking earlier on... Excuse the imitation, by the way. It's not a forte. That wasn't bad. It wasn't bad? Thank it wasn't you. Bad. It wasn't bad. Uh, I won't do it again. Uh, but... The, the, but Noddy makes... Can you make Noddy speak to us so we get a feel? This is what an owl actually sounds like in real Noddy. life. <laughs> so hey. it's a little squeak, as you can see, and this is where the old days in the ruins and the castles, you know, you come out and this white thing would fly by, you get a squeak, and there was your banshee. OK. No such thing at all. How is Noddy's eyesight? His eyesight is very good at a distance, but up close of three inches... <laughs> He can't see anything. Can't see anything. That's because his eyes are in a fixed position and focused. So he's, when he swoops for a mouse, it's as quiet as... It's as quiet. He's completely silent flight, you know, and you, you can't hear him. OK, and how old is Noddy? Just Noddy is going three. Three years old. I think we need to let Noddy spread his wings and fly <laughs> and do whatever Noddy does. 
among our friends uh -oh. in the audience. Uh -oh. and he's beautiful, isn't he? He Colin? is, he's fabulous, but this is where it could all go wrong. Right, with any luck. I know, no, no, that's great. This is what we call a potential YouTube moment waiting to happen, but we'll see what happens. So, I find we, we've had lots of fun in the last hour or two in, around the place because Noddy is very sociable. I mean, Noddy was everyone had the primal scream had Noddy on there. So, like everyone was having a bit of okay. bit of crack with Noddy. So the first thing is Lady Gaga's having an itch there at the head. You must be aware of this. Noddy is no pet, and yes. he's not. What you see here tonight takes a lot of training. They are for sale in pet shops. Stay miles away. They're dangerous little creatures when you don't know how to handle them. Yeah. He looks like his little darling, as he is. House. Great. Well, do you know what? He's actually the official show logo, so why don't you just leave him there? Well, <laughs> every Friday we can have a look at him. Chuck him a mouse every the, so The problem often. is, yeah, we do chuck him a mouse. Do you? Yeah, we do. Anyone got a mouse in their handbag? Here. Oh, <laughs> you have. Here. Oh, you do? <laughs> so, go on, is he going to eat it? Hell, he should. Why is he looking around? Well, well, the first thing is, owls are very, very private. Yeah. So they would like to turn their back to you. He should pick it up. Notice the way he, notice the way he kills this and oh, the way he brilliant. holds it. Oh, that's brilliant. He's got a severe prong at the top of his beak that actually breaks the skull of the mouse. So he generally should eat it and swallow it whole within sort yeah. of 10 seconds. Here we go. If children are watching, this is nature. Um, <laughs> this is what Charles Here we Darwin go. was banging on about. Watch. So what's he doing now? He's now just lining it up for the swallow. Yeah, and does he go in one big gulp then, is it? No, he's showing off. He's going to break this one up in bits. <laughs> OK. Well, look, we better let Noddy have his dinner there because we need to keep going on the show. In the meantime, here he goes. It. Oh, sorry, he's going first. Yeah, it's gone. Uh, look. Yeah, there you go. Oh my God. There he goes. And a little mice. That's lovely. Amazing. Oh, did you want to bring him back? Oh, Eric. Hey. Okay. Back you come. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, our friends from the wild and all over. Thank you very much indeed, folks. Thank you very much indeed. Thanks a lot.